find the bye week productive for the team and just kind of reset yeah, I think it was big for us uh, as far as giving guys a body break. And then um, you know, I think in practice, we, we focused a lot on fundamentals and um, just getting back to the basics of things you want to be good at and focus on. So that was, uh, that was really good, and I think we got a lot out of it. I know that uh, you're just throwing into those plays, but you guys have kind of been hot and cold with your screen plays. You're so both running back screens and wide receiver screens. When, you got, when they've gone well, what's gone well, and when they haven't, why have you guys struggled? I think the big thing with screens is, uh, and I think the O line is very aware of this. Is you know it's kind of on them to get the play started. You know, make those first couple key blocks so the backs can get out and and in the space and make some plays. So I think they've uh, really been focusing on that. You know, I think when we we hit a big one a couple weeks ago. Gerald had a big block that really sprung it, and uh, so we could just continue to focus on hitting those first couple blocks and getting the ball out and get it into you know the running backs' hands to make plays. Uh, they'll continue to, to work for us. Have, do you feel like you've been able to get into a rhythm on those because they've been so stop and start? This uh, yeah, I think it's it, it's tough just in, you know, in, in, in any play, I think, in any drive you want to get into a rhythm, you know, and be able to move the ball down the field and, and, and you know, have it, you know, getting a screen play stopped or, you know, a holding penalty or something like that that, you know, interrupts that drive makes it, makes it really tough. So not just for screen plays, just anything in general that kills that rhythm is uh, things you need to try to eliminate. Tanner, it seems, seems like the last couple of games, individually, you, you seem to have settled into a little better rhythm. Uh, I guess after the start that you had to, to the season, I guess what was the, the degree of difficulty of kind of fighting through that to, to maybe elevate your game a little bit like you had? I think I just continued to listen to my coaches um, and just try to focus on doing what they're asking me to do. And, um, you know, I think just maintaining my confidence and you know, belief in myself and um, just kind of feeding off the support from my teammates and things like that just, to, just allowed me to keep playing. So I'll uh, definitely continue to do that. Was, that. was that hard to do, though? Um, I don't really think so. Just kind of the only option. You've got to keep playing. You know, I um, had a lot of confidence in, in my ability to make plays, and um, so I'll, I'll never lose that. I know you didn't want to. Uh, you know, it didn't feel, you know, you know, thinking back, you know, it didn't feel much different. You know, it just still s felt like, you know, playing football. So um, not too big of a difference or anything. What did Purdue's defense do to kind of keep us constant out of the end zone so much? And they played them pretty tight a few weeks ago. Yeah, I think they're just a solid defense through and through. I think you got, they got a lot, a lot of experience kind of spread out throughout their defense. And... Um, so they'll be a good challenge for us, especially on the road. So I'm looking forward to really getting into them and um, looking forward for, uh, for us having a good game plan. <clears throat> what sort of things did you do to recharge your batteries this week? Uh, just rest, try to sleep as much as I can. And I think uh, you know, we continue to do what the strength staff has us doing, you know, keeping my, uh, keeping my body right and everything. So just really focusing on that. And uh, you know, it was nice. It was uh, much needed, I think, for everybody. And I feel great going into the end of this week. You feel like it was good for you guys to kind of take a step back and then get some time off to kind of come back excited or rejuvenated at all? Yeah, I think, I think we'll have a great practice today. I think guys will be excited to get back into it. You know, you get to watch football all weekend, and it kind of makes you itch and miss it and want to get back out there. So I think it'll be uh, exciting because of that. Who did you watch? Who do you respect collegiately <coughs> when you want to watch a quarterback? Mm. This weekend, I watched probably more NFL than college ball, but, um, but I watched the USC game. But uh, this weekend, I watched, I think, three or four NFL games. You know, I'm a big Saints fan, so I was happy with the Saints have been playing. So, uh, um, And then last night, uh, Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, I couldn't miss that. That was a great game. I uh, thought the Falcons were going to play better, but glad they lost. So. Tanner, you've been around a lot of football. What do you like about the way these coaches have handled themselves? This kind of rough spot. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's good for us to see that our coaches have that show the great leadership. It's something that I, I learned from, you know, the way that Coach Riley and Coach Langsdorf continue to just coach the team and and um, you know, really pushing us and, and getting us better every chance that they can has been uh, has been great to see. And uh, I think it's made us better and it's made me better. You're a player who's been around this before. 
when you hear, you know, the media or fans or message boards talking about coaches on hot seats, how does that affect the team? You saw it when you were at Tulane. How did it affect your team there? And, and how do you see it affecting the team here? You know, I think I just see Coach Riley doing a great job. Um, you know, controlling the team and the message that he's putting into our locker room. And I think the biggest thing for us is we're focused on us as a team and, and really not anything else. You know, we're focused on you know what it's going to take to win this week. And I know that our coaches are going to be focused on that 100% because they have been week in and week out. And that's something that, you know, their consistency is was something that drew me to Nebraska and something that uh, makes you really glad that I'm, that I'm here day in and day out. How hungry are guys though to kind of fight for Coach Riley in his final five games, no, knowing kind of what's going on here right now? Yeah, I think we have so much respect for Coach Riley, and you know we love him, and you know no matter what's going on, we play hard for for him, we play hard for each other. So I mean, nothing really changes. What uh, have you guys reassessed your, your team goals uh, here mid season, uh, considering where you're at? I mean, do you go for bowl eligibility now? I guess kind of what, what do you guys look at? Of what's out there? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they've shifted a little bit just because, you know, we don't have full control over our own destiny now. But what we can't control is to, to win out in the West and, uh, you know, give us a chance. And I think, um, you know, that's our, that's our goal right now is just continue to win games and let the rest take care of it, take care of itself. Because a lot of things out there can still happen. And uh, we're well aware of that. And um, we just want to control as much as we can. Yeah, I think that's something that we needed to focus on, and what we keep doing is that, you know, finishing drives with points, and you know, not stalling out in, in a million different ways. You know, I think so. Just finding a way to, to grind out drives and finish in the end zone is, um, it's, it's super important to winning a game, and that's I think that's something that we got to continue to to get better at.